Hey, what's up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. So this morning, I got up at seven o'clock, went to the gym with my friend Morgan at like seven thirty, and now I am back, and it is eight twenty-two to be exact. I didn't take my camera with me because, well, a because today is one of the days where a lot of people are in the gym because they have like a class for the seniors, and because. The other day, I had a little bit of an incident at the gym when I was with Rachel. I don't know if the people, I don't know if it was like some of you guys or what it was. We were doing like a boxing thing and these girls were taking photos of us. So that made us a little bit uncomfortable. So I did not take my camera because I figured, like obviously, people wouldn't appreciate being, like having a camera when they're trying to like do their gym stuff. But I will fill you in on the workout. So you guys, if you've been here for a while, will know that I have been doing the Sarah's Day like fitness ebooks that's just finished as of last week so today is tuesday and i am two days into nisha twins tone from home eight week challenge and they are australian youtubers they are so gorgeous and over lockdown they brought out this tone from home ebook which they wrote with their two personal trainers i believe so it's really i honestly i i underestimated it i will be honest so the first two weeks of the ebook are free so you can just get those from their website and then you if you like that you can buy the other six weeks and they had the other six weeks on sale a couple weeks back and i knew that that was what i wanted to do after sarah's day's challenge so I bought it in advance and I've got it ready to go. I'm not gonna lie, I underestimated the challenge. So yesterday I started and it was a strength training for arms. And I thought, you know, after 16 weeks of serious day, I'm smashing out push-ups, I'll be fine. I wasn't fine. It was very hard and I think it's because obviously with the serious day things, you're constantly doing the same kind of workouts. So your body becomes like, accustomed to those. And to then jump to something else where it's got a few different things, they're testing a few different muscles it really challenged my body and it was only like 25 minutes but I only burned like just under 200 calories but it was a good workout today was like lower bodies and that was also quite challenging so could be a little bit sore tomorrow but that's okay we'll cross that bridge when we get to it it is time to have a shower I'm gonna fake tan tonight because I'll fill you guys in now about that as well because tomorrow night at university we have like a formal dinner which is like a once yearly thing they call it like a midwinter Christmas thing for that I'm wearing this dress that I got from Princess Polly ages ago haven't actually worn it out so obviously because it's like kind of like a skin color kind of dress I want to tan so that it doesn't look like it is the same color as my skin so I'm gonna have a shower and shave my legs so that I'm ready to do the tan tonight I'm gonna take you guys through what I get up to today university is a little bit different this semester and that at Waikato here we're doing like half of it online half of it in person so that is a little bit challenging in terms of timetabling and managing your time. I have a tutorial today from 12 to 1 which is in person with a group of like things like 30 people, 20-30 people in the class. So obviously I won't show the class but we can go through my day and everything else that I have to do because I've got some lectures to watch, some readings to do and all the fun stuff. I'm gonna go have a shower and grab some breakfast and I'll see you guys very shortly. As you can see, I've had breakfast, I've brushed my teeth, but I'm back in my room now, and I, okay. <laughs> this is my to-do list from yesterday. It didn't get through everything, which is, it's fine. Still trying to like sort out my timetabling and stuff, as I said earlier, because it's difficult with it all being online and not having an actual timetable to stick to. Having to set the time aside yourself and trying to manage that time and allow the right amount of time for everything, that's a bit of a struggle. So today, on my list here, I've got a couple of like lectures I have to go through. I have to email one of my teachers regarding one of our assignments, which I then have to do the assignment. 26 pages of reading to do across three papers and go to a tutorial, which is for an hour from 12 to 1. And then tonight I have to self-tan for our formal dinner that's happening tomorrow night. And I have to start editing this. I had something really important I want to tell you guys. Now I can't remember what it was. That's really fun. Oh, outfit of the day. Yeah, so important. This is my outfit. I put it on and then continue to realise that everything is from Princess Polly. So I love that. But jumper... I think this is called the Amara Jumper Jeans, which are rollers, and belt, which is... I'm sorry, I don't know the name of that off by heart. I do have a discount code going at the moment if you're watching this around the time that this video comes out. My discount code is estevens20 for 20% off store-wide at Princess Polly. I think I'm going to start by emailing my lecturer about one of my papers because it's literally week two of the semester right now and you just when the semester starts you just get bombarded with stuff 
and the first assignment is like one we have to do every single week so it's like a weekly thing so i need to sort that out also i need to sort out my accounting oh, i can just do it now um oh far out this is this is university guys love it Like the first week of uni, you never really have much to do because there's no tutorial, it's pretty pretty lax. Second week, that's a different story. I made like this, I'll show you guys in a second, but I made this little sheet of paper, one for each of my papers. So do four papers a semester. I've got four A5 pieces of paper sitting on my wall right now. Each week, I'm gonna, this is the plan anyway, I'm gonna print out a new one and then update it with what I'm expected to do for that week. Because especially, like I wouldn't have done this if everything was in person, but because it's not in person, and I need to actually manage my time a little bit better. I'm hoping this will help me to do that. This is what it looks like. So this green strip is just because I color code my papers. So this one here is purple, obviously. So my digital business paper. It's the second week. This is my to-do list for the paper. So there's nothing I actually really have to do. And then there's the readings I have to do, lectures I have to watch. And then if there's any assignments I have to do, they'll go in here. And if I have an in-person class for the week, I'll put it in there. So the method behind my madness in that is I'm hoping, as I said, it'll help me manage my time a little bit better and not leave things out or forget to do things because when you're constantly getting emails and bombarded with information, it's like... But I'm going to do some reading now. That's one thing that I didn't anticipate uni would include or involve, and that is readings, and a lot of them. So yesterday I read 40 something pages. Actually, hang on, change of plans. I think I might do the lectures for accounting for the week before I go to the tutorial in case they start talking about stuff. There was in the lectures and I'm like, <laughs> didn't watch them. So I'm gonna watch those. There's only two videos, surely it's not gonna take that long. I'm gonna watch the lectures instead of doing the readings and see how this goes. I finished my first accounting lecture for the week, which was 25 minutes long. Well, 24 minutes and 47 seconds to be exact. And it's pretty much just covering stuff that I learned last year in like level three accounting, which is awesome because they're not explaining it very well right now. So if I didn't have my previous accounting experience, I would be very concerned right now. But one thing I do want to say is shout out to my accounting teacher because my goodness, I wish he was my lecturer right now because these people just don't explain it as well. <laughs> I need to be at my tutorial in just under an hour and I'm really hungry. I'm contemplating getting lunch before I go. It'll give me something to look forward to afterwards. It's pizza for lunch today, which is a pretty good shout. Mm, nah, okay, I'm gonna know. I'm gonna have lunch after my tutorial because then it'll give me something to look forward to and get me through the tutorial. Not that I'm not looking forward to it, but sitting in a classroom is gonna be really weird because I haven't done that in a while. I'm gonna be totally, entirely honest with you guys right now. I'm not strong in the vlogging game at the moment. I've lost a lot of confidence in my vlogging at the moment and I really don't wanna vlog today. But I'm forcing myself to because if I don't do it, then I'm not gonna get better. It is now 11.34 and I got like just under 15 minutes into the next lecture. So I'm giving myself a head start when I get back from my tutorial and have to carry on with it. But my gosh, I have no motivation today, <laughs> like at all. It's fine, we're not gonna let that weigh the day down. I'm gonna get ready to go to my tutorial. It starts in 25 minutes, so I'm gonna leave probably in like 10 minutes because I don't really know where I'm going, but I will fill you guys in when I get back. Back from my lecture and the lighting is terrible because the weather is also really terrible. It is raining, pretty sure I just heard thunder, so that's fun. But I had lunch and it was pizza, that was really good. And at my tutorial, it went well. It finished like within half an hour. So it's now just gone like one o'clock. So I've already been able to have lunch in the same time period, which is great. But Martin, who has not been introduced to the vlog as of yet, but probably will be one day. He's one of Owen's friends and one of Rachel's friends as well. He created this brand in this game, like a card game called Neon Chickens, and he just released a game called Psycho Chickens. So Rachel jokingly messaged him and said ha ha like you should give Emma Stevens one to put on her story and promote as a joke and he's like yeah sure so we managed to get a free game so I dropped it off in Rachel's room before I went to lunch so she's been playing with it I think so this is the game and it's made by Martin who is our age oh. may I add look how cool this is well so it's like it's like a full-on game boy he just sent me the rules are the rules not in the Box. I don't know, he just sent to me, here are the rules that aren't in the rule book. <laughs> Boy, I'm actually very excited to open this. So, Psycho Chickens is a card game. Oh, it's so nice. This is our first time seeing it as well. Can I just say a note? I got her this brand deal. I already told them. <laughs> because it was my brilliant idea, because I wanted this game. So I used this sneaky little, I'm friends with Emma Stevens, I could get you a brand deal. So... 
So the next few clips probably won't make much sense. I'm here to give you guys a little bit of context and they're all out of focus too, so ignore that. But I didn't want to cut them because I thought it was kind of funny and ironic. So we got this game, Psycho Chickens, from our friend Martin and we unboxed it. And basically how the game works is it has like the standard deck of cards and it comes with like four expansion packs. And we were like unpacking it without realizing that it had expansion packs. We thought it was all just like the one game. And we're looking and this, we pull out this expansion pack and on the box of it, it says Drinky Drinky and we're like... Do we, do we just get a brand deal with a drinking game? And the irony in this is, if you don't know me well and haven't been around here for a while, at university we are on like the no alcohol floor so we can't have any alcohol on the floor at university. And also Rachel and I are both like Christians and so is Martin. And so we're like, huh, what's going on here? So we, Rachel messages Martin and kind of asks for a little bit of context and turns out it is a drinking game, but not the whole thing. Not the whole thing, just that one singular expansion pack. So we did not play that expansion pack because we had no purpose for it. So just a little disclaimer there and enjoy these next few clips. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about. Why? <laughs> it's slang. Drinky, drinky. Oh, we laugh. <laughs> Haven't you heard that before? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, this is definitely a drinking game. This is take two lunch wings or pick up two cards. Rachel and I just got very distracted. Aside from that, it's still a university day and I still have to do work. So I had some accounting homework, which I thought I had to hand in in person. So I took it to my tutorial and he's like, oh, just email it to me. So I'm like, oh, sweet. So I'm gonna do that now. I still have to do my readings. Still have to watch some lectures. It's gonna be a busy afternoon. So I wanna start by sending this email. Rachel has gone to a tutorial now for two hours. So she won't be back until like nearly four o'clock. Well, it's currently 20 to 2 so she won't be back for another two hours so I am gonna try and smash out as much work while she's gone because when she gets back I want to hang out with her I have finished my reading and I uh, hope no one's looking at me right now but I changed my outfit this is Owen's jumper because I did not go to St. Peter's and these are my eat tights and I have my dog slippers on those are slumbies as well because I know that people I'll get questions about that because look how cute they are Getting a little bit sidetracked there, but this is my reading list. So, you know, in primary school, when you have a reading list, make sure you like read your books, you get given out of your book bag. This is the university version of that. So, I made this. I'm pretty sure I've talked about it before in my university organization video, but if I didn't, basically, it's got all of the days, and then I highlight each of my papers in a different color, and then I know how many pages I have to read each day. So, at the start of the week, I look at all my readings and I go, okay, that's how many pages I have to read for the whole entire week, divide it by five and then put them in because I don't really like to do my readings on the weekend, just being honest. So now I'm going to do my digital business readings, which is on the computer, which is really annoying because I hate reading off a screen, but that's okay, we can deal with it. So I've got to do eight pages for digital business of reading and then 10 pages for my communications paper. So that'll be 18 pages, which might take me like an hour. By the time Rachel gets back, just before four o'clock, I want to finish my readings. That is my goal. I see I'm feeling productive now. All I needed was to feel productive. That is all I needed this morning. 3.53, Rachel is back. Completed my readings, as you know that's a lie. Completed most of my reading. Digital business I was reading it and I was like, this ain't making, well, it just wasn't interesting. So it was kind of just going in one ear, well not even in one ear, in my brain and then just exiting again. So that was not very beneficial so I didn't waste my time reading that. I did my communications reading for the day, which was 10 pages. This bit of here is very awkward, it doesn't quite reach my plate. I'm now going to do my lectures for communications which will, I think it takes 35 minutes and then after that I'll be able to do my communications little assignment that I have to do. I finished my lectures and I'm full lecture and I'm stoked about it. It is quarter to five, so dinner's in like half an hour. I know you guys are also probably thinking why are you going to dinner at quarter past five? It's because when you have like no snacks or anything during the day like you literally just have the three meals and that's it you get hungry really quickly especially when you're doing like lots of brain work but i did have some things i wanted to share with you guys if you're on my live stream that was on thursday night last week so about 10 days before this video came out i teased about some things that are coming to my website some more merch items which are not clothing but i did want to share them with you guys because I want to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek because I feel like I'm really bad at telling you guys when stuff happens on my website on YouTube because it's not as easy for me to just say like, oh, this is happening, whereas on Instagram I can chuck up a story or whatever, it just makes it a lot easier. I can post in the community post on here, but I feel like not many people see that. So let me know how you'd like me to communicate stuff with you guys. Otherwise, just follow me on Instagram. That would make it a lot easier for the both of us. There's three new items which I am bringing out, which 
they're all ready to go i've actually got the stock ready to post them but they're just waiting on a few more items to arrive but the first item is this drink bottle so you guys know i have my drink bottle which i use all the time have had it for like nearly four years which is kind of disgusting kind of worth it though and this it's the same sort of drink bottle just with my own design on it it's double layer stainless steel so it can keep your water hot for 12 hours and cold for 24 hours which is amazing it says the good old make someone smile on there and the classic font and then it has the sun shines right the way around we're not going to talk about that because that's just how the design had to work it couldn't like meet up but that's okay this is only in white because I could only order one color and if I ordered it in black you wouldn't be able to see the rays in the sun like it, would have, it wouldn't have worked that well so we went with the white for that next up is these which are these stickers so it just says make someone smile that one also says make someone smile but it's got a little winky face and it looks like a text message and then this one which is just like my Instagram little tag thing and then these two here which are very similar one of them is the sunshine with make someone smile around it and that one is just the sunshine on its own and at the bottom it says sticky stickers don't worry that's not part of the sticker they're all vinyl and they last apparently i think it's like one to two years out in the sunlight so they're very durable so this is rachel and uh this is also the third product <laughs> so these are blue light glasses which don't have any branding on them so there's pink ones and there's gray ones so they've kind of got like clear frames on them so these are actually oh gosh, yeah. so these you how long but i guess like a month ago eh? probably longer more like a month and a half yeah so i ordered two Should just say... to see what they look like also rachel's wearing my merch she's a good manager eh? i'm <laughs> yeah so i ordered them a month and a half ago and because i have blue light glasses which are these ones here which are the series day ones which look like so very kind of they're pretty they're pretty similar different shape i have those and i swear by them people think that they're a gimmick but they're not they actually like especially during do you reckon they help your eyes when you're looking at the screen yeah yeah so i bought a pair for rachel and a pair these are actually janelle's so she was using them and i had to take them back off her because i need to take photos on them for my website and then i'll get them back to her when are we gonna do that probably should do that tonight but with them, since they're not branded, I had Make Someone Smile pouches made, which are like felt. So you can slip the glasses right in there. And with that, they also come with a little microfiber cloth. How cute. cute. The drink bottle is going to be $35. The stickers are going to be $10. And when you buy the stickers, you get one of each. You don't get to customize what you want. It's literally just one of each of the designs. And then the glasses are going to be $35 as well. This is Rachel's laptop. This is my laptop. And as you can see, wait, I'll turn it around. I've got lots of stickers and it goes very nicely. Also, I've got mine. I've got this little make someone smile on my laptop there. So that's, you can see the size, like where it fits. Shipping will be international. Obviously, shipping will be calculated at checkout. But shipping for these, I think, overseas is $5 and in New Zealand is $2.50. Shipping for these will be seven dollars New Zealand, twenty five dollars overseas, and same with the drink bottle. I think. Don't quote me on that. It'll be calculated at checkout. It is dinner time now, so we're gonna get some dinner. Rachel's doing a vlog takeover, but I'm gonna change out of this. You want to meet my friends? This is George. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is Coxie. <laughs> David. <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> Livy. <laughs> How you been to? Guys, where did you go? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm this here. is Rico, my personal oh, favourite yeah. D1er. I'm gonna go to dinner now. I just need to change my top. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Yummy pasta. Do you mind if I video? <laughs> I just want a little bit. Yeah, that's enough for me. <laughs> so how was dinner? It was actually not that bad but I don't like meat that has bones in it because then I can never get the meat off the bones and I'm really fussy and yeah. I mean, that's but apart from that it was really good, chocolate mousse, 10 out of 10. And now it is time to fake tan. Tan! So Rachel is going to be fake tanning, not with me, but we're both using the same tan. Which is from Ed and I Swim. And yes, I have an affiliate code with them, so it is Emma 10 for 10% 10 off site-wide. Feel free to use it if you want, <laughs> otherwise don't. That's fine by me too. So we have got the Psycho Chickens game and we're 
reading the rules and trying to suss it out. We've taken these out because they're well, Yeah, there's new power cards. It said if you're old and can't figure it out, then you have to take them out. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> we've taken them out. <laughs> so, after all of that, I think we've figured it out. I think I might be losing, but we'll, when we get to the end of the game, we'll readdress. Uh, I literally turned the camera off 10 seconds ago and I just lost. So, basically, the aim of the game is not to get the psycho chicken. And, um, <laughs> I got the psycho chicken. <laughs> After much deliberation, we managed to figure out the game. They just needed my brains to figure it out, right, girls? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but it is actually, like, really fun. The aim of the game is to not get the card with the chicken on it. And oh, I got the card with the chicken on it. It's because, like, anyone can win. It makes it really, like, competitive. It's really luck-based, obviously. It's a good game. Would recommend. Shout out to you, Martin. It did take us away. She had to call him, like, what are we doing? And he's, <laughs> he's like, are you dumb? Until the end of this week... So the end of the week this video goes up, he has free shipping for the game around New Zealand because I don't know, is it new or is he just restocked? Restocked. Restocked. So to celebrate the restock, I guess that's why he's doing it. So if you want to get it with free shipping, get your orders in before the end of this week. So the week of the, what is it? Me six so, is the Sunday. Get your orders in. Oh yeah, because Rachel's birthday is on Tuesday, guys. Mm. Get your orders in for <laughs> Psycho Chickens by the 26th <laughs> to get free shipping in New Zealand. We are gonna close off this vlog here. I still have to wash off my tan before I go to bed, but we're just gonna chill out for a bit. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and we'll see you in my next video. Ooh, I can't see, I brush my teeth. I can't speak today. I'm having a good day, I think. Oh, I could clickbait this so good. I got a psycho chicken. The amount of people right now that are thinking, wow, the vlog just got so much better since Rachel like joined us. Psycho chickens! This is my room, by the way. It's quite cute, isn't it? Sucks to suck. <coughs> oh, wait, there. Never mind. We're gonna. <laughs>